Students, this is the second class of QSAR. So, in this class, we are going to see the physicochemical properties and how they are related to biological activity. So, before that, we'll see what is QSAR. So, what is that? It is a mathematical relationship that is in the form of an equation and that is connecting biological activity and physicochemical properties. Okay, so that is, it enables the development of mathematical models and that is used to predict the biological activity of a new drug in advance. Now come to physicochemical properties. So here the parameters used are first one is hydrophobicity or lipophilicity and second one is electronic parameter and third one is steric parameter. So in the case of hydrophobicity we are going to see partition coefficient and substituent hydrophobicity constant and in the case of electronic parameter we are going to see Hamet's constant and dipole moment and in the case of a steric parameter we are going to see Taft steric factor, molar refractivity and Verloop steric parameter. Now we are going to see hydrophobicity. So this hydrophobic character no, that is very very important in the case of crossing the cell membrane and also in receptor interaction. So in two ways it should be very important. So what are they? To cross the cell membrane and also in receptor interactions. So if we are changing the substituents on the drug, we are getting different, I mean we are getting a more effects on hydrophobic character and so the biological activity also would be changed. That's why this is very important for a means of predicting this quantitatively. The hydrophobic character of the drug no, that can be measured experimentally. How it can be measured experimentally? By testing the drug's relative distribution between two immiscible solvents. Here one is an organic layer, another one is an aqueous layer. So the organic layer chosen is n octanol. So the hydrophobic molecules know that will prefer to dissolve in organic layer that is in n octanol layer. And the hydrophilic molecules will prefer to dissolve in aqueous layer. This relative distribution is known as partition coefficient and that can be represented by a letter capital P. So capital P equal to that is partition coefficient is equal to concentration of the drug in octanol divided by concentration of the drug in aqueous solution. So the hydrophobic compounds know they are having high p values and the hydrophilic molecules will have low p values. If you are changing the substituents on the lead compound we are getting series of analogs with different hydrophobicities and different p values. Now we are going to plot a graph using p values against the biological activity. So this biological activity you know that is expressed as 1 by c where c is the concentration of the drug required to achieve a defined level of biological activity. Here we are using reciprocal of concentration. Why? Because uh, more active drugs will achieve a defined biological activity at a lower concentration. So that is why it would be 1 by C. We are going to draw a graph by plotting log 1 by C versus log P. So here the log P node that would be taken on X axis and the log 1 by C node that would be taken on Y axis. If the log P values are in a small range that is uh, log P equal to 1 to 4, we are getting a straight line. So here log p on x axis and a log 1 by c on y axis and log p values are in a small range we are getting a straight line. This graph shows there is a relationship between hydrophobicity and biological activity. So for this line the equation would be log 1 by c equal to minus k1 log p plus k2. If the log p values are in a high range we are getting parabolic curve. Here the biological activity increases as log p increases until a maximum value is obtained. So here what happens in the x axis we are taking log p and in y axis we are taking log 1 by c that is the biological activity. So if you are increasing log p what happens the biological activity also would be increased up to a certain point and that point no that can be called as optimum partition coefficient and that can be represented as log p0. So beyond that point what happens if you are increasing log p the the biological activity you know that would be decreased. If the partition coefficient is the only factor that is affecting biological activity that parabolic curve you know that was expressed by the equation log 1 by c equal to k1 log p whole square plus k2 log p plus k3. This uh, k1, k2, k3 and p you know they are all constants and can be determined by suitable software program. Now we are going to see substituent hydrophobicity constant and that can be represented as pi. 
the partition coefficients no they can be calculated by knowing the knowing the contribution that various substituents make to hydrophobicity and that contribution no that can be called a substituent hydrophobicity constant and it is a measure of how hydrophobic a substituent is relative to hydrogen this partition coefficients are measured experimentally for a standard compound here the standard compound chosen is benzene with or without the substituent that can be represented as x so the hydrophobicity constant for the substituent is obtained by using the following equation so pi x equal to log px minus log ph where ph is partition coefficient of the standard compound so px is partition coefficient of the standard compound with the substituent if you are getting positive value of pi that indicates that the substituent is more hydrophobic than hydrogen if you are getting negative value of pi means the substituent is less hydrophobic than hydrogen these pi values know they are characteristic for the substituent that is used to calculate how the partition coefficient of the drug would be affected if the substituents were present now we are going to see partition coefficient versus hydrophobicity constant so here the partition coefficient p no is a measure of drug's overall hydrophobicity and is a measure of how efficiently the drug is transported to the target and how efficiently it is bound to the binding site this uh, pi no that is a substituent hydrophobicity constant measures the hydrophobicity of a specific region on the drug skeleton and it can emphasize the important hydrophobic reactions involving that region of the molecule with the binding site